Hi, I'm Jordan and in this video we're going to be taking a look how to do a simple custom design using netting. This type of netting can be bought in many different type of home stores and there's loads of different designs that you can get. So first of all we've cut the desired size to what we need and then we've taped it onto the panel making sure it's really nice and tight that there's no creases or anywhere that overspray can get underneath the netting. So how this works is I have a silver base coat in the gun that is solvent base and we're spraying over the netting and where you can see the design the really tight woven white pieces that's going to stop the overspray so that's going to stay as the colour underneath and anywhere where there's no tight woven of the netting that's where the overspray is going to go in and that's going to give us the effect at this point I'm applying really light coats we don't want to put any wet coats on here because it's going to interfere with that netting that's on the panel so very light coats until you achieve the desired effect that you want I'm just doing this making sure that the whole area is covered and it's nice and silver because we're going to go over this now with a candy and now we've applied the base coat we've let it dry and we're going to go and demask this panel now ready so we can put our candy coat over the top so very carefully take the netting off and then we can go ahead and look at the design underneath do be careful when you're removing the netting because we don't want it to drag on that silver we don't want to scratch it or cause any harm to it so there is the final effect that we get through spraying through the netting so it gives you a really simple but effective design which just takes a matter of minutes to do and now we've removed the netting we're going to go ahead and apply our candy colour this is going to really make this design pop out which is what we're after so we're going to apply a couple of coats of the candy to make it look really nice and deep it's just going to make that design really stand out be careful at this point not to put too much candy on though because you're going to start getting really horrible edge lines around this design and it's going to be causing a little bit of trouble when we come to clear coat it and polish it later on so I'm only going to put two coats of candy on and it gives us a really nice candy colour that we need and once we've applied that candy colour that's pretty much about it for this design so we're going to go ahead and apply some clear coat over and this is really just to finish it off and give that depth of gloss that we need for this type of work though I would recommend a clear coat that is quite a thicker building microns on the panel as it just helps remove those edge lines from doing the designs that we've done and that's pretty much about it for this video I've got a few more custom videos that I've done and put on the channel so take a look and give me some feedback on them and make sure you subscribe thank you for watching